Absolute menace on the base paths this season in the Big 12. Great contact hitter, carry on, on a hop. One away for Parker Messick and the Seminoles. Calling it the ball. One, two count, there's the changeup. Swing and a miss. And the nation's strikeout leader adds another one to the tally. Off the top of the wall and over. Good contact here, drives it to right center field. Into the gap it goes, it'll hop to the wall. Carry on's got two, he puts on the brakes. The Energizer Bunny, Jordan Carrion, gets it started off right for Florida State. An emotional leader for Florida State in that dugout. Roberts pokes it through the right side. Mike Martin Jr. will put on the stop sign for Carrion, and the Knowles will have runners at the corner. Something cooking here against Cornelio. That ball is driven to center field. Tibbs put a charge into it off the wall. Carrion will score easily. Roberts holds up at third. And it's the freshman from Marietta who gives the Knowles an early lead. <laughs> There's a Bach. Cornelio tripped over himself trying to deliver. And the second run will touch home plate in the form of Brett Roberts. The Knowles double their lead. Full count. Now to Ferrer misses. Damage and give his bats some shots. Albert first pitch swinging. It's fair and all the way to the wall. Tibbs easily touches home plate. Holding up at third is Ferrer, RBI double. As Reese Albert does his dance and the Knowles are cooking here in the first. Early in contests. Chopper should bring the run home. The throw over is in time by Tommy Sacco. RBI ground out for Trayton Rank, he does his job. Drives this one to left center field. On the track, making the catch, Sam Thompson. And the side is retired. Pretty darn good if you're Parker Messick. And he punches out Spenrath. Vincent pokes it through the right side. That's a base hit. Gray Rogers gave it a look. Really had no shot. And Vincent leads off the seminal second, the same way Jordan Carrion led off. You know, not your way, you know how to get back there. How about that for Carrion? Right back through the box. I'd say he's feeling pretty good. Didn't need it. Ball four, full count offering coming. Fastball poked into center field. Albert delivers again. Vincent touches home, right behind him, Carrion. All the way to third. Jaime Ferrer, Reese Albert, has given Florida State a massive lead here in the bottom of the second. Chops this one to shirt, short. Sacco's got it into the dirt and in time. Doug Vines with the call. And he says he just beat Rank down the line on Friday nights. And he said, you know what, if you're going to sit on my changeup, I will run a heater right by you. 92 on the gun. 2-2 pitch. Right back to the off-speed. Vincent will have to throw it down. He does. And Messick continues to rack up the case. My goodness. Broke his back with an off-speed pitch. Swing and a miss. Nunez goes down. Swing and a miss, the fastball. Sacco goes down for the second time tonight via the K. Hit speed, break, tilt. Another strikeout for Messick. Vincent with the put out. Parker Messick is on another planet. Recently they're having it with Oklahoma State the last couple years. Seven strikeouts in a row. Get everybody else done as well. <laughs> First walk for Messick. First base runner. Yeah, he's looking for his eighth. This one hit hard up the middle, right at rank. Easy toss over to carry on for one. And a double play of the 4-6-3 variety. Only took uh, three degrees to walk for the first time, so. Down at first. As Lacey drives it to left center field. Back to the track, to the wall. That ball is gone!
baseman. There's Devin Flaherty and Emma Wilson, too. And the first base hit of the evening against Florida State's Parker Messick. It's Luke Boyers. A double. Squeezed it inside the third base bag. Went back to Old Faithful. The bunch. Strike three called. Got him looking. What else is new? Big bender. Oh my goodness, Parker Messick. I did my day job before the ball game as Tibbs walked here on the 3 2 count. Uh, pitch is ball four as Ferrer heads down to first. is Jaime Ferrer. Two RBI double for the red hot Reese Albert. And all he can do is shake his head. He thought he had one. He thought he had his first home run of the season. This ball hit out to center field and pretty well, but the ballpark's gonna hold it. Nunez back and makes the grab a couple of feet shy of the warning track. Hit hard. Lacey can't handle it. Sacco's aboard. He turns at first. Quick throw into second. Slammed on the brakes after a wide turn. The zone. Off speed it is. I got a couple Tony Romos here in the booth. Fastball. Outside corner. Parker Messick fired up as he finishes seven incredible innings. It was Parker Messick to Ross Dunn. And Florida State, incredibly impressive here on this Friday night. Game one to the Knowles. Extra day, he'll go tomorrow. And we are underway tonight here at Tallahassee. Last time, we got action against Dallas Baptist with a couple of strikeouts. Lift this one down to left. James Tibbs over pursues. Lost it down the line. Good low. Scampers into second. Overthrow. Nobody home. And he's a third. That is some heads up base running there by Bobby Goodlow. For Curtis Byrne. Byrne back up the box. And TCU has a 1 0 lead. Ray Rogers. 0 2. Breaking ball. Fist that one. That'll get be a double play. 4 6 3. Pitcher's best friend there for Carson Montgomery. Runner does advance to third, but really needed that. Two down. The last weekend. And that breaking ball is in there for a called strike three. Now one of the best teams in the country, let alone the Big 12. And Gray Rogers puts that one out of the reach of Jordan Carrion for a one-out single. Root is away to the stomach, is away to the is away to the man's heart. Porter Brown lifts that one. Deep left field. Still carrying. And it's gone. Porter Brown lifts his right hand in the air and last year's Big 12 Championship Tournament MVP with a two-run shot in his first A-B of the night. Almost by chance as he gets carry on there. Carry on's very upset. Can't feel very good getting hit right in on the hands, maybe the wrist. As he clutches that left wrist, he will head to first. So he is available. We will probably see him something. Like Roberts gets in this one. This was deep left field, and it is at the fence and gone. Brad Roberts with his fourth home run of the season. And that two-run shot puts Florida State on the board and within one. For a top 20 win this season, this weekend, they had one last night. Looking for another attempt, looking for another bomb. This one to deep right field and gone. Over that fence and right. 
and Florida State with back-to-back -back jacks. We're tied. Into it, and he feeds off that. Roberts draws the walk to lead off the seventh. But the bullpen used all over. Barrer, that gets through the third baseman, Taylor, who's been solid all game. Just gets under the glove. Reese Albert, the 0-2 from Crow. Fists that one in the left. Roberts is going to round third. Roberts is going to score. Four to three, Florida State. 1-1 one, one to Lacey. Lacey doesn't hit this one to third. Hits a rocket shot. Lacey says, you're not getting me out this time. Try fielding that one over the fence. Three run shot. Florida State extends the lead. When you get to postseason play to be a sneaky Omaha team because of their arms. Brown lead off single the other way. His second hit of the night to piggyback off his two run home run in the fourth. Taylor, this guy's at the center. Albert has it in his sights, and Florida State takes the first two in this series against TCU. First pitch incoming. A strike on the outside corner to Elijah Nunez. Pitch for him. Into right center field, base hit for David Bishop. It'll roll into the gap. It's cut off by Ferrer. Bishop hustles into second base. And Nunez easily scoring RBI double for David Bishop. TCU takes the early lead. Hits this one on a rope. And it'll drop. One hops the wall. Tibbs easily has a double. Make comparisons to Jock Peterson. Jaime Ferrer into left center field. And just like that, we are tied. The freshman getting things done for Florida State in the first. Swinging a hot stick. And he continues to swing a hot stick. Back-to-back -back RBI hits, and the Seminoles take the lead in the first. Terrell lifts this ball to right field. It's got some carry on it. Looking up and watching it go out of the park is Boyers. The power bat of Alex Terrell has done it again. One-two count coming to Taylor. Lifts this one deep to right center field, has some carry to it, back to the wall, watching it leave the park is Logan Lacey. Home run number nine for Braden Taylor. Chip, this kid is really, really good. Some fingertips. Chopper to third. Taylor charges the throw across. And Lacey will beat it out for an infield single. Hits this one hard the opposite field. It'll go. All the way to the outfield. One run is in for Florida State. They slam on the brakes everywhere else. But an RBI single for Brock Mathis extends Florida State's lead. Jammed him. Rogers charges, makes the play. Bolden able to escape further damage. In the left field, Petrie will have himself Potentially extra bases. No, he slams on the brakes and heads back to the first base bag. This one hit to right field. Fair ball. That'll roll all the way to the wall. They'll hold the runner at third. Petrie slams on the brakes. And TCU now has runners on second and third after the double from Rodgers. Porter Brown sends another drive. Deep to right field, that ball is gone! 
Second home run of the weekend. TCU is right back in it. He made the ball game an inning early yesterday. Group effort out there. The coaches are out there. And Andrew Amar is standing on the tarp. <laughs> you got to love that. The reigning ACC pitcher of the year. Rain comes down at the end of the top of the fourth. And Chip, again, because of not playing five innings, this game officially declared a no contest.